Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical S shape. And this code is also similar to the previous pattern programs. So let's begin with the code. Here is our output and we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loop. One is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column and here in our output we can see seven rows and five columns so here in our code we can see first for loop it is to print stars in the row here row is the variable name and we are using range function and here we can see number seven because there are seven rows in the output okay and inside that we are using another for loop it is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable name and here range is from 0 to 5. Here I took 5 because there are 5 columns are there in the output. If you want you can change the number. And inside that for loops we are using if else conditional statement. It is because we want to print stars in some particular pattern for that we need condition. That's why we are using if else conditional statement. And here after if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. So for that we'll see the output and first we'll begin with the rows. And here we can see row 0, row 3 and row 6 we want to print star at column 1, column 2 and column 3. Right. So my first condition will be I'll check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 3 or row is equal to equal to 6 if it is 2 then I want column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4 this is our first condition and here we are checking whether row is equal to 0 or row equal to 3 or row equal to 6 and here we mentioned the logical or operator in the logical OR operator, if any one of the condition is true, then output will be true. So here, if any one of this is true, at that time this must be true. That's why I used logical AND here. In the case of logical AND, if both of the input is true, then only output is true. So to print star, any one of this condition need to be true and this must be true. And next I'll mention logical or we are done with the rows now now we'll concentrate on the columns we can see at the column 0 and column 4 we want to print star right at column 0 we want star when greater than 0 and less than 3 right so my second condition will be I'll check whether column is equal to 0 if it is true then row should be greater than 0 and row should be less than 3 this is my second condition where we are checking whether column is equal to 0 if it is true then row should be greater than 0 and less than 3 because in the column 0 we want to print star at row 1 and row 2 so that's why I mentioned greater than 0 and less than 3 right and next condition will be for column 4 at that time row should be greater than 3 and less than 6 because we want to print star at row 4 and row 5 so my next condition will be I'll mention or and here I'll check whether column is equal to equal to 4 if it is true then row should be greater than 3 and row should be less than 6 okay these are my three conditions first we'll check whether row is equal to 0 row equal to 3 or row equal to 6 if it is true then column should be greater than 0 and less than 3 using that we can print stars here here and here now we are done with the rows next we'll concentrate on the column 0 and column 4 there at the column 0 we want to print star at row 1 and row 2 that's why we mentioned row should be greater than 0 and less than 3 
Next conditional before column 4, there we mentioned row should be greater than 3 and less than 6. And next colon and if this condition becomes true, then we need to print star there. That's why here we can see print star end empty string. That is by default end value will be slash n in the print. But here in our output, we want to print one star immediately after another in a row. For that, we are mentioning end is equal to empty string here. Next, if this condition become false, control goes to the else part and it will print space. And here we can see space, right? This all because of the execution of else part. Next, inside the first for loop, we are using print. It's for the new line. That is, after printing stars in one row, we want to go to the next line to print other stars. Like here. For that, we are using this print. So now, we need to save this and run this. And here we can see the output. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll meet you in next class. Till then, take care.